The Ford F-Series is not only the best selling truck for Ford, but for all of America. If you're looking to buy a truck, you'll want to see this video to which F-Series you should buy. The F-Series line updates all the way back to 1948, but it wasn't until 1975 that the first F-150 appeared. 20 years later, starting with the 1997 model, Ford made significant changes to the truck lineup. The company divided the F-Series into two vehicle families. Some trucks would be intended solely for work, while others would be for work and personal use. Towards the end of the 90s, a revamped F-150 series emerged, which aimed to blur the line between truck and SUV. The driving experience also became more like driving a passenger car rather than a truck. Since its debut, the F-150 has become a big hit with customers, selling some 900,000 vehicles each year. But what about the rest of the F-Series trucks? We're talking about the F-250, 350, 450, 550, 650, and last but not least, the 750. All the trucks after the F-150 are considered heavy duty. These are big trucks designed for hard work and fun. To differentiate between consumer trucks versus heavy duty commercial trucks, Ford introduced the Super Duty line in 1998. These trucks were designed to provide higher payloads and traction because of their heavier chassis and heavy duty suspension components. In other words, the Super Duty brand trucks were built for hard work. Let's compare the F-250 versus the F-350. The advantages of the F-350 over the F-250 is in towing capacity. The F-350 can handle up to 32,000 pounds, while the F-250 tops out at 18,500. The F-350 also has a higher payload with a max of 7,640 pounds in the bed versus 4,270 pounds for the F-250. Of course, different configurations of the engine, cab style, and body size impact payload and towing capacity. For example, there are some configuration options for the F-350 that result in less tow and payload than the F-250. But all set, the F-350 still offers more configurations that offer more muscle than the F-250, so it's better equipped for harder work. So how much work? One way to get a better idea is to look at Gross Vehicle Weight, or GVWR. That's a system developed by the U.S. Department of Transportation to classify trucks. It's a measure of the maximum operating weight a truck can carry while in transit. Transit. This includes the truck itself, driver, and passengers. You may have already seen something called way stations along the highway. Well, now you know what they're used for. The F-150, for example, has a GVWR of just over 7,000 pounds, which qualifies it as a Class 2 truck. The maximum GVWR of the F-250 and F-350 Super Duty is 14,000 pounds, making these two Super Duty trucks Class 3 trucks. The F-250 and F-350 have the same dimensions of height, length, and width. However, the curb weight, that is, the weight of the truck resting on a flat surface with a full tank of fuel and no cargo, is between 200 and 300 pounds, depending on the trim. Obviously, the F-250 gets better gas mileage than the F-350. Also, coupled with the new torque shift G transmission, the F-250 with the gasoline V8 is even more fuel efficient. But now let's compare the F-350 versus the F-450. So here's a question. What do you prefer, more comfort or a larger gas tank? Because the F-450 carries 48 gallons of fuel, which is a big difference over the 34 gallons carried by the F-350. If you're looking for a truck capable of transporting heavy loads, the F-450 is designed to withstand greater loads due to its design and width. On the other hand, the F-350 offers more comfort. The big difference is that the F-350 has two truck bed configurations. One offers a 6.7 five-foot bed and the other an eight-foot bed. The F-450 only offers a longer bed with either the standard cab or crew cab option. In any case, you can just tow anything with either of these pickups. F-550, F-650, F-750. These are trucks that really live up to their super duty name. They appear so big on the road, they practically look like street legal monster trucks. The F-650 and 750 are easily some of the largest mass-produced trucks you'll ever see. Even if some people think these vehicles are just bigger F-150s, there's much more than meets the eye. They are truly powerful pickups and are often used for construction, towing, and by state and local municipalities to tackle large projects. The F-750 is the largest truck 
truck that Ford makes. Did you know that F750 doesn't require a special driver's license? In other words, it can be driven with a regular driver's license. Legally, a commercial driver's license or CDL is needed when a vehicle weighs more than 26,000 pounds. The F750 in its lightest configuration weighs in at 20,000 pounds and it can be equipped to weigh up to 26,000 pounds. Therefore, as respects to the law, as long as the weight stays under 26,000 pounds, commercial driver's license is not required. Now let's take a look under the hood. The 2022 Ford F750 comes with two main engine types. The first is a 7.3 liter V8 gas engine producing 350 horsepower and 468 pound-feet of torque. The second is a 6.7 power stroke V8 diesel engine capable of 270 horsepower and 700 pound-feet of torque. Both engine options are mated to a six-speed torque shift automatic transmission specially designed for heavy-duty truck use. So, what's the better option, diesel or gasoline? Which is more fuel efficient? And why would a gasoline engine be installed on a heavy duty truck at all? Of course, the gas and diesel engines each have their pros and cons. Both gas and diesel engines are internal combustion engines that convert fuel into energy. The combustion of the fuel air mixture in a gasoline engine occurs when it's ignited by the spark plug. Once the piston is at the top of its stroke and the compression reaches the desired value, the spark ignites the fuel air mixture. But with the diesel engine, a spark isn't necessary. The Combustion is caused by compression. In other words, the fuel air mixture is compressed so much that it ignites on its own. The compression ratio is also much higher on a diesel engine than in a gasoline engine. Simply put, a diesel engine uses the heat of compressed air to spontaneously ignite the fuel, while gasoline engines use a spark-fired combustion. Diesel is usually more expensive than gasoline today, but diesel also contains more potential energy. For this reason, the diesel engine generally uses less fuel to do the same amount of work than its gasoline sibling. Of course, it depends, but for the most part, there are cost savings to using a diesel engine. That's why diesel engines are used because of their increased fuel efficiency, which results in lower operating costs. This is due to the thermal efficiency of diesel engines. On average, the thermal efficiency of a diesel engine is about 20% higher than that of a gasoline engine. This means that with the same amount of fuel supplied to a gasoline and diesel engine, you can expect a 20% increase in work from the fuel supplied to a diesel engine engine than in a gasoline engine. This is directly related to an increase in fuel economy by the same 20%. The diesel's increased thermal efficiency also translate into more power and torque. This is what anyone would expect from the Super Duty line, which is designed for towing and transporting particularly heavy loads. So a higher torque motor is exactly what these pickups deliver. Another difference between gasoline and diesel engines is the projected lifespan. Diesel engines are known to have low RPM but high torque, whereas the average gas-powered engine in a car will rotate twice as many revolutions per minute on a highway as a diesel truck. That means it will wear out twice as fast compared to a diesel truck. Here's another example. When gasoline engines reach the 120,000 to 150,000 mile mark, the cylinders will begin to show some wear, which in turn reduces their efficiency and lifespan. But diesel engines are known to travel over a million miles. In addition, the cylinder of a diesel engine has a removable liner. So when the engine reaches somewhere between 200,000 to 300,000 miles, the liner can be replaced with without replacing the entire engine. All things considered, we can say that diesel engines provide the best value for your buck. Some people get concerned that diesel exhausts produce more pollution. Yes, in principle, it used to be that way about 25 years ago. You'd be able to see black smoke coming from the tailpipes in those days. But today, thanks to strict government regulations and modern technologies, diesel engines run cleaner than ever before. You probably heard in the joke that the air leaving a diesel engine day is cleaner than the air going in. Now, the same applies to the noise a diesel engine makes. Modern technology has eliminated the loud hum heard when starting a diesel truck. So much in fact these days, you won't even know if a truck is using gasoline or diesel. By the way, have you ever heard of Paradigm Armored Vehicles? They are a Canadian defense company that makes armored personnel vehicles intended not for military or law enforcement, but for civilians. The Gurkha RPV Civilian Edition is built from the chassis of a Ford Super Duty F550. This monster, the RPV model, is powered by a massive 6.7 liter V8 turbo diesel engine that generates 330 horsepower and 750 pound-feet of torque. Believe it or not, that's not much for its mind-boggling weight. The Gurkha RPV 
Gigi weighs as much as 15,500 pounds. But remember, the F750 weighs 20,000 pounds and has 270 horsepower and 700 pound-feet of torque. So why does the Gurkha weigh so much? That's because it's completely covered with armor, capable of withstanding a point-blank shot from a 7.62 millimeter Kalashnikov assault rifle, as well as from a 50 caliber weapon. It's also equipped with a six-speed automatic transmission that sends power to all four wheels of a 4x4 chassis and is capable of accelerating to 70 miles an hour. And let me remind you, this is not a military or a police truck, but an ordinary civilian pickup truck. But now you tell me, if you have any interesting, funny, or horror stories of the Ford F-Series, please share by commenting below. As always, if you enjoyed this episode, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for your support.